Hello everyone, in today's video we're back with the ECCE exam and we're going to be looking at the vocabulary booster. So this is perfect for you if you are sitting the FCE exam or obviously the ECCE exam or in fact you just want to practice and learn some vocabulary. So let's have a look at our first word, shall we? A budget. Now this is a very, very common word. In fact, you'll see this everywhere. Usually the word budget is to do with money. Okay, so if you turn around and say, I have a budget of 150 euros to buy a phone, that's how much money you have to spend, pretty much. The other meaning of the word budget, like here, like budget car hire or a budget holiday, usually kind of means that it is cheap or at least it claims to be cheap just because it says budget car hire doesn't mean in fact it actually is cheap you have to check the prices first so a budget is how much money you have to spend my budget for this holiday is 500 euros so you have 500 euros to spend no more that's your budget and income a very very important word here income once again is all to do with money so if you're working um, or maybe you're doing several different jobs you have to work out your income how much money you are making she earns a good income from her business a district now this is a tricky one well not really actually a district is pretty much an area so if you have a look in this uh, picture here you can see a picture of a classic city center this is known as the CBD the central business district in other words the area where all the business takes place and that's what a district is an area pretty much of housing it could be an industrial district uh, with all the factories there aren't any supermarkets in this district and most of the shops are in the central business district or the CBD to smuggle a very naughty word here nowadays this is an illegal thing to do you're not allowed to smuggle things into a country or out of a country people will often smuggle drugs guns uh, other illegal goods perhaps and even people so if you're smuggling something you are taking part in an illegal activity and you're moving things between countries that are illegal in these countries he was arrested for smuggling parrots into the country to forge now this is a great one for all you fantasy gamers out there you might know this word he forged the sword in the fire to, to make that's what to forge means in this sense and again nowadays maybe you're asked for your parents signature or a signature if you forge the signature you don't actually get the person to sign it you just sign it yourself you forge the signature this is illegal by the way um, and here we see uh, painting and nowadays this is a very very common thing a lot of people have amazing amazing um, talent when it comes to painting but they just don't have the creative ideas so what they specialize in doing is making forgeries or copies of classical pictures which look almost identical to the same thing so to forge something means to make or nowadays forgery if it's a forgery it's a you're making a fake copy he forged the sword out of steel made it I don't think that's a genuine Picasso I think it's a forgery and another thing you'll see now as well if you go into any supermarket now when you give them a 50 euro note or anything they'll flash it through a little machine a little UV light thing and this is checking to see whether the money is a forgery or not to be released on bail this you may have heard this word if you're a fan of CSI and all these law dramas if you're released on bail it means that you have been arrested you're at the police station 
and you're in the jail pretty much but you can go to court and if you're not really a danger to anybody uh, the judge may release you on bail and what you have to do is you pay money to get out of jail you still have to go back to court and things like this but at least you don't have to spend days or weeks in jail and you can stay at your own house which obviously is slightly more comfortable so the judge set bail at two thousand dollars to be discharged usually if you're discharged from something you are dismissed or perhaps let out a good example nowadays is when you've maybe had an operation in hospital they give you papers and you have to sign and they discharge you from the hospital release pretty much uh, it can also mean as you've seen here to be fired so if you were discharged from the army basically you've been kicked out he was discharged from hospital yesterday to discharge a weapon there's another <laughs> means to fire it and he was discharged from the company for theft fired so this is a tricky little word here um, you can also have an electrical discharge which means electricity is coming out of something so there's lots of meanings of this word discharge a heat wave Ooh. heat wave is a period of very very hot weather and it depends on what country you live in um, what they would classify as a heat wave generally in Europe if it goes to 35 degrees or 40 degrees that's a heat wave if you were in the Sahara Desert that's absolutely nothing <laughs> so a heat wave a period of hot weather in August we have heat waves with temperatures into the high 40s I hate heat waves very uncomfortable to deposit very useful word here two meanings I can think of offhand so if this is usually to do with money nowadays so if you are depositing something you are putting money into your bank you may be looking at the photograph saying huh what has that got to do with anything but that on the wall there is actually not a painting it's a TV believe it or not a massive 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 TV so if you wanted to buy a TV like this you would have to pay a deposit a sum of money up front and usually it's quite a lot like a couple of hundred if it's a television like this ooh, maybe one or two thousand because that thing will break the bank so to deposit I have deposited the money into your account I put the money in or in order to buy the TV you must pay a deposit of 200 euros an initial payment which is usually quite big to withdraw now this is the opposite okay deposit put money in to withdraw take money out it's also got other meanings as well as you can see here so this person is withdrawing money from the ATM I need to withdraw some money from the ATM the other meaning of this word you'll hear it maybe to withdraw from a race withdraw from a competition it basically means you've been injured and you're quitting you've had enough for some reason also the army the armed forces could also withdraw in other words they retreat they go back so have to be careful with this word so I hope this has been useful if you need any more vocabulary especially for your ECC and FCE exams I highly recommend our white series of videos here they're all done in topics and every time we give you eight words and they're perfect for this level thank you very very much for watching if there's any words or anything you don't understand please don't hesitate to get in touch right for now